live, local, late breaking. This is WBAL TV 11 News, Sunday morning. It's 7.06 and 26 degrees on TV Hill. When is enough, enough, enough when it comes to cosmetic surgery? In our medical alert just ahead, we put that question to an expert. Well, so many reports about cosmetic surgery. Get expert advice from doctors and procedures next in our medical alert. It's 7.15, and in this morning's medical alert, it's hard to find a woman who doesn't want to look younger, but what about when the young women, the young ones, want to look younger? As we know, reality TV star Heidi Montag recently said she was addicted to cosmetic surgery. She underwent 10 procedures in one day, so what are the plastic surgeons telling their patients? Dr. Michael Cohen of the Cosmetic Surgery Center of Maryland joins us now. When you look at those pictures, what do you think? Well, I think she was a very beautiful girl to begin with. Absolutely. And it um, might have been the responsible um, opinion of the plastic surgeon to maybe uh, tone it down a little bit and ask her to pick a few procedures, but maybe not that many. Are you seeing younger and younger patients coming in wanting things tweaked and altered? And Yes, but most of them have reasonable expectations and ask for one or two things to fix, which hopefully uh, as the plastic surgeon you have to recognize is really a problem. If they don't have a problem and you can't see it, well then you obviously can't fix it and, and you have to warn them that it's probably not a good idea. Well so much, you know, in, in this instance there was a lot of blame put on the, the doctor here. Um, so the question is at what point does the doctor say, and it's, it's a fine line obviously because we're talking about making a living, but at what point does the doctor say, you know what, enough is enough? Well, I, I think that most board certified plastic surgeons that have really good training would recognize when a patient has what's called body dysmorphic syndrome or yeah. unreasonable expectations and I think that it's their responsible and our responsibility as plastic surgeons to warn them and say listen I, I don't know that this should be done. Well you came up with a really good list of questions for us and we want to go through them uh, what you consider you know plastic surgery questions to ask and the first you say am I a good candidate for the procedure which you know that, that that is the question. Right. So what makes a good candidate? Well, first the patient should be healthy, um, should have uh, reasonable expectations, should have a, a, an identifiable problem that, as the plastic surgeon, you recognize is something that you can fix. You have to be honest with them and say, yes, I, I've done this many times, and, and show results and show uh, before and after photos and, and that sort of thing. But I, I think what's really important is seeking out a board-certified plastic surgeon. There are a lot of people that claim to do plastic surgery that may not have the background or the training that a board-certified plastic surgeon does have. Oh, absolutely. And you say that's one of the questions also to ask. How many procedures of this type have you actually performed? That's a good question absolutely. to ask. Yeah. Okay. And the other question is, do you have privileges to perform cosmetic surgery procedures at an accredited hospital? Yeah, absolutely. Some people have ambulatory surgical centers or other places they may go. You, you would want to find out the credentials about those places. In my ambulatory surgical center, I use only board certified anesthesiologists to put the patients to sleep, which I think is important as well. So there are a lot of really good questions that, uh, that have to be asked. And as you mentioned before, you said ask to see before and after photos of patients who have undergone the procedure. So of other patients, right? even with privacy rules? We, right. Well, you can see that? Yes, that's a good question. Uh, a lot of the patients have given, uh, all of the patients whose photos we show have given permission. So uh, most of the, uh, the photos don't necessarily involve the face. Um, you can even hide certain things, but if they've uh, given permission, we're allowed to show them. Okay, and you say also ask if you can speak again to any recent patients, so not only see the photos, but actually talk to them and, and find out about their experience right. and their results. A good patient testimonial is very, very helpful, and it's uh, very comforting for patients who are seeking out a, a competent plastic surgeon. Well, I tell you, it's a... Um it's a it's a tough world to be a, a woman in these days and you know certainly your business is booming I mean it's really booming from all of our issues with with aging and everyone looking younger around us Well, there are a lot of really good things to do that are non-surgical as well so not everybody um, has to have plastic surgery you can have things that are in the plastic surgeon's office that may be less, less invasive and um, comforting and get you over that hump all right. Okay. Look at Meryl Streep, how great she looks. All right. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Cohen. Thank I appreciate you. you coming by. All right.